suffering. It's intrusion by the federal government. We're saying no to naked body scans. We're saying no to unconstitutional federal mandates. We're saying no to government employees touching boys. We're saying no to government ripping open urine bags for bladder cancer survivors. We're saying no to the government ripping off prosthetics of breast cancer survivors. It's unacceptable what the TSA is doing. Yes. Well said, Luke. And I love this sign over here. <laughs> TSA, that's sexual assault. <laughs> sure I get all that. Freedom. Freedom. They're sending out the uh, Black Hawk helicopter. Here we All go. right. Yeah. Good. There Get some are. attention. <laughs> hey, does anybody want to say anything? It's going to be on YouTube in another couple hours. So. Obama, you're a Kenyan-born Muslim, and you're nothing but trouble for this country. Speak it, Mr. Mudd. That's right. <laughs> I am not afraid. I am commonly found on the White House Facebook page. Say no to chemtrails. Say no to fluoride in the water. Oh wait, wrong protest. <laughs> Say no to enemies in the White House. Anything you want to say? I think it says it all. That does, doesn't it? Afraid it's not I that I'm classic. All right, thanks guys. On here. And well, um, I'm concerned that there's a bigger picture here. Uh, we're seeing an entire destabilization of middle class with the banks. And, uh, you know, this, this is certainly making travel completely <laughs> not fun. So yeah. you're, you've only got basically the business class that's going to want to go, and I don't think the industry can support itself, just uh, business travel. But then beyond that, you've also got banks with no regulation no agency that you can call if they're not working with you or if they're messing up your credit or kicking you out of your house. And there's a point at which we have to stand up and effectively say to our representatives and to these industries, this is not a sustainable business practice. Treating customers poorly is not something that you can keep making money at. And you might be able to get away with it for a couple months, but there's a point at which you're going to go bankrupt, and you're basically cutting your own throats doing these sort of things. Yeah. Um, so get out, pick it, uh, stand up, because the agencies aren't doing any good. The uh, the businesses themselves will not respond to you until they feel the pinch, and then it'll be too late. You've got to stand up now while you live in a house, and you've got some income, and you can and you can take some yeah. time to do this sort of thing. Um, <laughs> I I hear what you're saying. I called the airlines. Uh, you know, once I found out about National Op. Day, I watched a video. It gave all the airline numbers. And I called, tried to call each one of them up, and I called Delta first. And I was telling the lady, I, I said, uh, I just called to tell you, let you know, I'm not going to be flying anymore because uh, I don't agree with these procedures. It's right. an invasion of our Fourth Amendment rights. Blah blah. blah. Yeah. And uh, she goes, Well, I'm sorry, but the, the airlines, we really don't have anything to do with the security. I said, well, you guys should have a vested interest in it because it's going right. to affect your income. Yeah. You may not have a job tomorrow because <laughs> they're going to downsize people are, you. Yeah. <laughs> people are ticked off and they're not going to fly anymore. You know? Yeah. Yeah. So. Uh, I hope it does some good. Yeah. Uh, and thanks for getting this out. Um, yeah. You what know, was your name? My name's Greg. Greg. I'm Dave. Nice to meet you, Greg. Yeah. Uh, and uh, more power to you. Get, yeah. get the word out. Thank you. <laughs> Brother St. George from the... Pacific Northwest and commenting about the TSA uh, intrusive body searches and the body scans. Our founding fathers had it right in the Fourth Amendment and this is a violation of our Fourth Amendment rights. I'd like to say that. We have the right to be secure in our persons, papers, and personal effects and the court is supposed to, they're supposed to have a warrant in order to engage in a intrusive search of this nature. And we need to remember that Founding Father Benjamin Franklin said that he who would sacrifice liberty for security deserves neither liberty nor security. Right on. And what Thomas Jefferson, I believe, was the Founding Father who said that if ever tyranny would come to these shores, it would be under the guise of fighting a foreign enemy. And that's the 
That's the situation we have today. Yeah. Here in America. Spot on. Al Qaeda was invented by the Central Intelligence Agency. Osama bin Laden was trained by the CIA. The CIA started the Mujahideen, armed them, armed them in Afghanistan, and that's what Al Qaeda comes out of. They're still part of it today. And they're doing all this based on the lies of 9/11. 9/11 was a setup. There were th nano thermite has been found, was found at the site. There were tons of molten material in the basements, and jet fuel from airliners does not do that kind of damage and does not melt steel I-beams. So thank you. Wise. Keep fighting, patriots. Thank you. St. George, right? McAfee. Yes. Chalice McAfee? Yeah. Yeah. So what prompted you to come out here today, Chalice? Well, I've had enough of the TSA for the last uh, three weeks or four weeks. I've been agonizing over what's happening to my country and uh, at the hands of the TSA. So I, I saw there was a national opt-out day on the plan for the 24th and figured I'll try to spread the word for Boise. Yeah? Yeah. Cool, and I know it's a bitter cold day out here today. It I pre is. appreciate you coming out. You were, Likewise. You, tell me about your plans you were just telling me about as far as... Uh, well, we're planning to go down. we got, what, 20, 25 people, maybe? Something like that? Yeah. Plan to go down to the city hall, just give Mayor Beater a chance to listen to us and our concerns and maybe answer a few questions and see what we can do to yeah. get Boise City to opt out of the TSA services. I'm going to I'm gonna come down there with you guys. So, uh, yeah, Boise City controls the airport, right? They, they have the power to fire TSA if they want it. Well, do you think? Boise City, I don't, I don't know who's calling the shots, but Boise City owns the airport, which who, yeah. owns, who owns Boise City? The citizens, I yeah. suppose. Yeah, yeah. And at least that's what they want us to believe. <laughs> cool. Or wouldn't want us to believe. Yeah. So I, I imagine the mayor is probably a good place to start, city council, and see what we can find out. Well, uh, I admire you, Chalice, for coming out here today. And thank thank you. you. Thank you for the spot. Sure, no okay. problem. Kind of, I don't want to say right wing, but like Republican Tea Party type thing. Yeah. And I'm the exact opposite of that. I'm cool. a crazy liberal. I'm a moveon.org person, I'm with yeah. ACLU, all that sort of stuff. And I find it really strange that I'm here with my father, who's about as right-wing as you can get. And we're both here at this protest and we agree on something, which made me think either way I was hallucinating or the end was coming. <laughs> but yeah, I, I feel that the, uh, the TSA isn't making us any safer by doing this. They're yeah. just making the population feel safer. It would be one thing if these things are actually going to keep us safe, you know? Yeah. But they're not really doing anything. They need to sit down and think about what will actually make us safer. I think people would be more willing to go through the TSA's hoops if they knew they were going to be safer, not just the appearance of being safer. How do you feel about uh, the, you know, the, the thought that this is a violation of our Fourth Amendment rights? I think that like what our fathers, forefathers set up, they got tired of the British, you know, because they're yeah. they're coming into their homes and searching and seizing and stuff. And I think that that's there's a fine line between keeping us safe and keeping the original um, boundaries that were set up by the Constitution and by yeah um, that whole um, era of original government. And I think that, again, if it were actually going to keep us safer, people would be much more willing to do these things. But they're, you know, humiliating people and taking body scans of people. Uh, last week, there were a whole bunch of these body scans that are supposed to be deleted immediately, released by the Information Act, the Freedom of Information Act. Oh, yeah. Gizmodo, I think. I didn't know so, that, yeah. Yeah, they're all over the internet pictures of You're kidding the x-rays of people yeah. underneath. Yeah. Um, and I but, think that's but, humiliating. But this is illegal you know, search. It's, really yeah. it's an invasion of our privacies. Yeah. And like Stephanie said, we're not any safer for them. Yeah. Yeah. If, if they could really prove what works best, we would support that. But this is not it. They have other ways that they could do, Lots of do other things accomplish the same path. Yeah. yeah. You know, 
I think that we should model the Israeli um, security process. They they are safe and they are under attack all the time. They're not doing any strip searches. They're not doing yeah. any bodies, full body scans. Nothing invasive like what no, TSA. So, yeah, this is just way outrageous, and it, uh, it, it violates our liberty and freedom. Yeah. I think the most important thing is it's not making us any safer. No. It's doing all of these things. It's humiliating people with, you know, medical issues and, you know, oh, the elderly yeah. and yeah. disabled people. But it's not making us any safer. Instead, yeah. of, just instead of making us feel safer, they're making us angry. Oh, yeah. And they're making us rise up against our government. Yeah. I mean, what's the point of that? Right. So, so I, I'm curious, you guys, what... You know, as far as your knowledge of what's going on with TSA and and other issues like this, where where do you, uh, you know, Steve, right? Yes. Yeah, like you're you're the right wing, and your yes. daughter Stephanie is the Left the liberal. Yes. Like, where do where do you guys like to go to? You know, to get your news and stuff, and um, get your information. I like to go a little bit of everywhere. I like um, <laughs> to look at. I get most of my news online. I look at CNN.com. I look at. Um, MSNBC. I like to look at overseas uh -huh. news as well to get a perspective other than just what we think like here. Like Reuters or like what? Like the BBC no. Yeah, BBC. a lot of stuff that's international to see how people who don't live here view what we're doing. Yeah, yeah. And I think that's, that's helpful to get um, an outside opinion. Yeah. Because a lot of them don't have the biases of people who live here and can take a fresh look without being ingrained in things. And yep. I think that even if I don't agree with their, what they're saying, it helps me to think and get a complete picture. Uh, I'd suggest, like, ironic as it kind of sounds, being American, right, that there's a, a something that I've found on YouTube called Russian TV. If you look, sometimes search on some issues, you'll see some of their reports, yeah, which are, 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 they show the alternative view. And a, a, it's who, who knows if we're always being told the truth by our exactly. media, right? Yeah. And what, like you, that I same question. I, I, I basically like to go to a lot of sources. I, I watch a little bit of CNN yeah. as long as I can stand it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But basically, you I watch, watch Fox I News. I watch or? Fox News. I read the Drudge Report. Um, I get a lot of my news online yeah. as well, more more than probably from television. Do you think that our media, like like the big ones like Fox News, you guys, and, and CNN, and, and, and CBS, NBC, do you think they're being totally honest with us about well, a lot think, of things? I think every news source has an agenda and yeah. a bias. Yeah. And they present the news through their bias. Yeah. I'm not sure we have a really, truly unbiased, clean news source. That's why you have to go to a lot of news sources, hear what everybody says, and then make up your own mind. Yeah. yeah. I think... You know, I have a son, Stephanie, probably about your age, and he's turned me on to NPR. He listens NPR. to NPR radio. Is that something you listen to? I listen to a lot of NPR. I uh, like their website. I have a smartphone, an Android phone. I have NPR on there. I have the BBC on there. I have the Huffington Post on there. Um, I like to get, like I said, a lot of opinions on the same topic so that I can kind of wrap my brain around the whole issue. Cool. I know that a lot of the media has a viewpoint, even if they're not purposely giving you their viewpoint, it's impossible for a person to not kind of put themselves in that story a little bit. Yeah. Um, so it's important to see the issue from multiple points of view. Otherwise, you just end up believing whatever it is the TV tells you. Yeah. Which is sad, because things are more complicated than that. I know, that's cool. I applaud you for, you know, being as diligent, both of you guys. And, you know, we need to keep a finger on our government and what's going on. You know. Thank you, guys. Okay. We do that for people all the time when, when they want to meet with the mayor. And so it'll probably be, I would expect, maybe if not before Christmas, right after. Sure. You think? Yeah. And here's my card. Feel free to call me. That's got my cell phone on there. Thank you. Hey, thank you. Anybody else want to fill us in? Sure. Maybe we can be here for a minute. Sure. Cool. Thank you so much. Hey, I appreciate your time. Thanks for coming no out. No problem. No, thanks yeah. for coming out. I'm happy to talk.